So welcome friends to the first episode of Wacky Tech Experiments. So today the topic is virtualization into virtualization. So I'm going to use VMware Workstation and install a virtual machine on it. Then install VMware Workstation 14 on that virtual machine. Then install a virtual machine in that virtual machine. So let's get started. So right now as you could see we are running the latest version of windows on it the everything has been installed the virtual machine tools have been installed now i would pass through a pen drive through the virtual machine so that i could load vmware workstation 14 on this so i have already copied the application extension on this and now I would go to it, right click, removable devices, and yeah, this is my pen drive. And now connect, disconnect from host, yeah, and okay, no problem. Yeah, so you could see, yeah, so this is my pen drive.
now i have restarted the virtual machine and uh, as you could see the task manager shows us that yeah so 49 percent cpu usage 72 percent memory so this means that around half of our res uh, hardware resources are in use more than half so now we are going to transport the fi iso file from the host to the virtual machine but we are not going to use a pen drive or usb drive because it is a large file around 7 or 8 gb so we are going to use a function called shared folders so to access it we need to go to the settings of the virtual machine then options shared folders always enable map as a network drive and add the power so the host path it means the path of the file and uh, yeah done and click next yeah enable this share but do not click on read only and finish do remember to check this uh, button of uh, map uh, map as a network drive in windows guest because if you don't uh, check this you can't uh, access the file on the uh, virtual machine now click ok now go to the file explorer so we are going to refresh it two three times and then this pc and you could see shared folders vmware host z drive so okay click on it open it windows 10 iso windows as you could see we have got the iso file disk image file and now we are going to use the vmware workstation pro So right now as you could see i don't have an internet connection on this machine i because i have like don't want to install updates on this machine because it would take time that's why i didn't connect this machine through the bridged network on the virtual network editor so click continue finish So I think the virtual machine, uh, sorry, VMware workstation on the virtual machine has detected that running VMware workstation in a virtual machine will result in degraded performance. So we would continue. Okay. So this means that uh, we can't. So I think we should go to task manager performance yeah so it says it clearly says that virtual processor one socket one virtual machine yes so this means that we cannot win so thank you friends for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video thank you